crazy idea a couple weeks ago. Let me tell you about it. For those of you who don't know, Little Rock only has one train going in each direction that comes through a day, so every departure out of Little Rock Union Station is by dark. Uh, this trip was about me meeting a goal that I had set that got disrupted by what we will call the Panini of 2020. I have seven states that I had not visited when I first set out on this trek. I've been traveling for a very, very long time since I was, you know, almost ripe out of my mom's belly. And most of the states that I had not been to yet are in New England. So I set this plan in motion to knock out the New England states using Amtrak as much as I possibly could. So I took the Texas Eagle up to Chicago and then caught the Lakeshore Limited, which I had not been on before, and rode all the way over to Albany, New York. The views were beautiful. I have been very fortunate to have amazingly beautiful days when I travel on Amtrak, so thanks for that. And uh, this was also going to be a very special trip because I was going to get to see one of my good friends from college, Nikki. So I, I, I don't know why people don't travel by Amtrak more, but I definitely do. It's, it's a great experience and it gives you a chance to just take your time getting to where you want to go. It really is a, a privilege to be able to take your time. Now just so you understand, the train ride from Arkansas to Chicago is about 13-14 hours if you don't run into freight issues. And then from Chicago over to Albany was going to be the better part of another day. So once I got to Albany, we absolutely had to go ahead and rent a car because Amtrak just wasn't going to give me the routes to be able to get to everywhere I needed to go. And the objective on this trip was to make sure I saw all of the remaining five states in New England that I had not seen in one day with the help of my friend Nikki. Fun fact, if you're renting a car, just know that you're taking a bit of a gamble these days, y'all. Do your homework. I had to. <laughs> Nikki and I had a lot of catching up to do that night and pizza to eat, but we woke up pretty early the next morning, ready to head out for our first new state, Vermont. <laughs> Our route took us through some pretty interesting high curves and whatnot, but it did also bring us around to Brattleboro, Vermont, which was a wonderful accident. We saw this covered bridge. We had no idea just how historic it was until we got there. In fact, there had been a sign on the road that promised there would be more information here and there wasn't, but it was totally worth the stop. Look at how beautiful this bridge is and everything around it.
thanks to the great and glorious internet, we were able to look up and see that this creamery bridge was built in 1879 and retired in 2010 to a pedestrian bridge. And everything about this space was just gorgeous. We are very appreciative to the Vermont Cobble Project for being able to find this information. And I will drop that link in the description so you two can go check this out. Another little fun fact we found, which I will put in the description as well, is that this happens to be one of the locations for one of the stories in Lovecraft Country. Just thought that would be kind of neat for those of you who are fans of that show. And the book. Because we knew our time was limited, we made a rule. We said we had to set foot inside each of the states. So New Hampshire was one, Connecticut was another, we made sure that we stopped off somewhere, even if it was just a gas station, to follow the rules of saying that we'd actually been to the state. But I do look forward to going back and spending a little bit more time. Unfortunately for Rhode Island, all we had was the gas station stop, and I was kind of wondering if I was in California when I saw these prices. But we got it in. Though this was not my first time in Massachusetts, we did stop at this scenic lookout and I was just a bit awestruck looking around at the beauty of that state. Now I get to blame the internet again for another fun little situation that happened. I had always wanted to visit this one particular town and I found out that there was an Unsung Heroes Black Women of Essex County exhibition that was going on. And so I convinced Nikki that we definitely needed to go. It didn't take a lot of convincing. When we got there, the smell of brine made me feel very much at home. As we wandered around the harbor, we saw such amazing things. Can you guess where we are? Oh my goodness, I cannot wait, first of all, until the next time I get to come back and really spend some time here. We really ended up focusing around the National Parks area of Salem, which is pretty touristy, but we couldn't have picked a better day. It was gorgeous outside, and seeing all of these old buildings just did something to me. Y'all should know by now, I love some architecture, but also anything near water is going to have my heart. Absolutely. I mean, look at this. An amazing day to stop off, stretch our legs, and walk around a bit. The other thing that we did find out, though, is due to the panini, we did not get a chance to really go indoors very much, but we found some place to eat that was delicious and decided we would go ahead and do the virtual experience of what we had missed. Y'all, I had to have my lobster. There's something about having lobster. They gave us broccolini. Did I mention that we had lobster? And of course, oysters. The way they should be prepared. Nikki special requested that we also go ahead and stop by that shop. That was one of her favorites. And we ended the day in Kittery, Maine, just as the sun was setting. I made it. I knocked out all of New England in one day. Oh, but wait, are you wondering how I got home? Guess you better come back so you can hear about that story, because it's a humdinger. I'm not yet done. I got two more states to hit. Hope to see you then. Oh, yeah, go join the Patreon, too. They'll find out about it earlier. Anderson ticket talking miser for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. Anderson ticket talking miser for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. I'm a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. Anderson ticket talking miser for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. I'm a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Comma and a comma. Gotta get it. Talking miser for the biggest.